For a long time, we had people, non-black people, try to tell us that Black-on-black black crime was the worst thing happening in the black community. Now, black-on-black black crime is a problem, but they far over-exaggerate this. There are more people dying on opioids than black-on-black black crime. There are more people dying by suicides than black-on-black black crime. There are more people dying from alcohol than black-on-black black crime. And one more thing is a leading cause of death in the black community, and that is black men shot by police far exceeds black on black crime. Ladies and gentlemen, do your research and stop listening to people that don't have our best interests at heart. It should be pretty obvious by now that they don't. This came out in the Chronicle, December 16th, 2019. Report, police killings are a leading cause of death of black men, not black on black crime. So ladies and gentlemen, these are people that have been murdered, unarmed in many cases by the police. You know, they don't do real police work in America, ladies and gentlemen. They come on the scene, shoot first, and then find out what happened later. That's how they operate. Police violence is a leading cause of death among young men, especially young black men, according to a scientific report published recently. The study, which looked at police use of force, found that black men are 2.5 times more likely to be killed by police than white men. Our models predict that one in 1,000 black men and boys will be killed by police over the life course, the report said. The report titled, Risk of Being Killed by Police Use of Force in the United States by Age, race, ethnicity, and sex. Report that one in every 1,000 black men can expect to be killed by police. In 2018, police killed 1,018 people, not all of them black men, according to the database, people killed by police. The report is contained in the August 20th, 2019 issues of Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States or America. Police in the United States kill far more people than do police in other advanced industrial democracies. PNAS reports, ladies and gentlemen, and there is no reason for them to kill more than any other advanced industrial country. There's absolutely no reason for it. And when you look at some of these advanced countries, they have more of a population than the US and they don't kill nearly as many people. And violence is all over the planet. It's everywhere. And that's how it's been for centuries. You know, the people that run this earth, they can't get this under control. And they know it. They have been in charge of a very violent world. And look at the shape that it's in. It's in bad shape. It really is. The report lists the names of black males, victims of police violence. They are Oscar Grant, Michael Brown, Shalina Lyles, uh, Charlena Lyles. Uh, yeah, I remember her. She was pregnant. Stefan Clark and Tamir Rice and many others who have been murdered by the police. The killings have sparked protest and the United States Attorney General William Barr angrily react Recently, at an award ceremony in Washington honoring police, Singh Barr warned 
the critics of policing may display more uh, difference or risk losing police protection. But the problem, um, fat, so we don't get police protection. What you give us is terrorism, but it's not police protection. So I don't know what you're taking away. What are you taking away? You're taking away something that don't exist. We don't get protection. We don't get any more protection than our forefathers out on the plantation when these guys were called plantation police. They didn't get no protection either. So I don't know what protection William Barr is talking about. If you know what protection he's referring to that they give the black community, please write it in the comment section because it's eluding all of us. We don't know what that is. What Define police protection in the black community. Please define it because we haven't seen it yet. But yet our tax dollars are paying the salaries of these cops and we are getting the worst policing known to mankind in the black community. You really should give us reparations just based on that. You've stolen our money and you did not give us what we paid for. So as long as you haven't given what we paid for, that money is stolen. The murders also affect black men's mental health and reinforce uh, inequality in society between blacks, whites, according to The Lancet, a peer review medical journal. In a report titled Police Killings and Their Spillover Effects on the Mental Health of Black Americans uh, population-based quasi-experimental study. It was reported that police killings of Black men affects the mental health of people not directly affected. Our estimates, therefore, suggest that the population mental health burden from police killings among Black Americans is nearly as large as the mental health burden associated with diabetes, Lancet wrote. Violent encounters with the police have profound effects on health, neighborhoods, life changes, and politics. Policing play a key role in maintaining structural inequality between people of color, whatever, and white people in the United States, the study report. Um, our results show that people of color face higher likelihood of being killed by police than do white men and women that risk peak in young adulthood and that young men of color face a non-trivial lifetime risk of being killed by police. The PNAS researchers from Rutgers University, Washington University, and the University of Michigan estimate the risk of being killed by race and sex using data from 2013 to 2018. Ladies and gentlemen, we know that there's always been biases in policing and the police has been infiltrated by the Klan. And that's the only reason why these people want these jobs, the ones that are there. They want to be able to kill us and get away with it. And they have, in many cases, very few are prosecuted. And even in the case of shooting someone in the back, they get away with that. You know, we know that there is a lot of racism in policing because we are handled far differently from any other group in this country. And remember, the police was put together based on our people running away during chattel slavery. That was the whole purpose for their existence in the first place. And they still run around and act like they're plantation cops even to this day. 
you know, they do not shoot first and ask questions later with any other group other than the black community. And although politicians acknowledge that they know there's a problem, they refuse to do anything about it because they have those same biases towards us as the police departments do in America. So when it comes down to the police and politics and, you know, all of the entities that control this whole world, why should we have faith in them? Why should we trust any of them? They have not done anything that's trustworthy. And we haven't seen it for centuries. So why are they shocked that we feel the way that we do? What have you done to make things better? Nothing. Nothing. Crime is going down in the black community, ladies and gentlemen. All you got to do is look at the data that's out there. It's going down. It's not rising. You know, although crime is on a steady decline in this country, mass incarceration sure don't decline right along with the crime, does it? Mass incarceration is still going on even to this very day. It should be no surprise that it's the same people that they held up in chattel slavery. We have always been their intended target, and we always will be. You know, uh, I have to agree the 13th Amendment must go. If you really are serious about doing away with slavery, then that 13th Amendment must be abolished. There is no other way. But y'all, please tell me what you think. We know these things are happening. And we know uh, these things have been happening for centuries now. We have never been treated fairly by the police or this government or these politicians that are in power to make laws. We haven't been treated fairly by any of them to this very day. And when you can show the data, all they can do is whine and call you a racist, but you're not racist for bringing this up. That That's not what racism is. Talking about what's happening to us is not racist. And, and don't listen to that. Don't listen to that. These people haven't told us the truth about a single thing yet. But y'all, please tell me what you think of this article. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.